and welcome back to Storytime with Little Sasha. If you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe and share. It really allows me to be able to read fun stories for you. Today's story is Christopher Pumpkin by Sue Hendra and Paul Linnett and illustrated by Nick East and imaginatively read by me, Little Sasha. On Snaggletooth Lane in spooky Spookville was a dark, creepy castle perched high on a hill. Deep in that castle, by the glow of the fire, sat a wicked old witch with a burning desire to throw a huge party, the scariest yet, one that her friends would never forget. There's too much to do. It'll drive me berserk. Now who can I find that will do all the work? She looked all around. Then what did she spy but a big pile of pumpkins she bought for a pie? They could be useful and scary as well. I'll bring them to life with the help of a spell. <laughs> She was making an army and having a ball. As they sprang into life, she gave names to them all. Gnarly, Grizzly, Grinky, Roar, Snaggletooth, Stinkface, and maybe one more. The witch raised her wand for one final go. There were sparkles and glitter. Then a voice said... Hello, I'm Christopher Pumpkin. I like all things fun. I'm so happy to be here. Group hug, everyone. He stretched out his arms and gave them a grin and outshone the warmth and the kindness within. Oh no! screeched the witch. What on earth did I make? You're supposed to be scary. I've made a mistake. Oh, now hang on a minute, said Christopher P. I'm sure I'll fit in. Just wait and you'll see. All right, snapped the witch, as there's so much to do. But Christopher Pumpkin, I'll be watching you. Now get on with your work and make decorations. I want horrible, ghastly, frightful creations. Did someone say decor? Oh, that's right up my street. Forget about tricks and prepare for a treat. There was lifting and shifting and huffing and grunting, but while others hung cobwebs, Chris hung up bunting. Then along came the witch. Work harder, buffoons! But instead of bat lanterns, Chris chose balloons. The horrified pumpkins all scuttled away. They needed to find party music to play. My favorite music is howling and screaming, said Gnarly the pumpkin, his scary eyes gleaming. I'm sorry, said Chris, but that sounds bizarre. Let's all have a singer song. I've brought my guitar. <laughs> Now for the food, it was time to begin. So they stood round the cauldron, tossing things in. Firstly, some earwax. Then hair yeah, from a yanty, a poisonous bug, and some moldy spaghetti. <laughs> the result was rat. Pizza, all sprouting with hair and stinky green cheese made from old underwear. Some hot curried slugs, fried 
spicy snakes. Mm. Then in walked our Chris with some pink fairy cakes. This just isn't working. I think you'll agree, said the witch as she glared down at Christopher P. I've had quite enough. You're not part of this group. If you can't be scary, I'll turn you to soup. You've got till the morning. Have I made myself clear? Poor Christopher nodded, frozen with fear. Hmm, I don't want to be soup or a pie or a flan. I'll stay up all night and think of a plan. I'm Christopher Pumpkin. I like all things fun, but there must be a way I can scare everyone. He worked through the night, never taking a break, but the clock, it was ticking. Soon the witch would awake. The morning arrived and the pumpkins all stared and Christopher's bed, oh, he's gone, they declared. I suppose that it's better he went without fuss. There was really no chance he could ever scare us. Along came the witch, now out of my way. My guests are arriving, the parties today. <laughs> so poor Chris had vanished, or so it would seem. But then from outside came an almighty... Ah! Scream! It's horrid. It's nasty. This just isn't funny. Please, oh, somebody stop him. I want my mummy. There were unicorns skipping, balloons on the door, pink fluffy kittens and sparkles galore. There were marshmallow puffs piled up in mountains. Strawberry milkshake was squirting from fountains. Oh, I'm Christopher Pumpkin. I like all things fun. But before he could finish, the witch shouted... Don't you like it? Chris called with delight. Well, one thing's for sure. I scared them, all right. The end. Thanks for reading with me. Subscribe to my channel if you want to stay up to date on all of my new stories. I'll leave with you next time. Bye!